Hi everyone, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and this is my initial review of the HP Storageworks X510 Data Vault. Now this is a four bay server that runs Windows home server software and I'm just going to show you very quickly before I move on to the main device what you get along with the server itself. Now HP supplied this little package here which contains some installation disks. We get a software installation disk version 3 and this is for use on both the Windows and Mac operating system. We also get a PC restore disk and we also get a server recovery disk. Also in this box we get one Ethernet cable and we also get obviously a power cable dependent on your country. This one's for the UK so we get a three pin UK plug. Now before I take you for a tour around this device I'm just going to briefly explain to you that HP also sell a range called Media Smart. Now the Media Smart range consists of two different models an EX490 which is a single 2.2 GHz Celeron processor which is available in the UK for £429. They also sell one called the EX495 and this takes things up to the next level because it comes with a dual core 2.5 GHz processor, 2 GB of RAM, 4 serial ATA bays, 4 USB 2 slots, 1 eSATA port and gigabit Ethernet. Now what they don't publicize is that they do not sell the Media Smart EX495 in the UK. Instead, um, they sell this model, which is the StorageWorks X510 Data Vault. Now, the X510 Data Vault is the same specification as the EX495, so you get the same spec, same box content, same software. And there's three models of this one available. There's one that comes with one terabyte of storage, a two terabyte or a three terabyte version. One we're looking at here is the one terabyte model. It's the Q2050A and it costs round about 460 pounds. So just to emphasize that again, the MediaSmart EX495 is the same specification as the uh, StorageWorks X510 Data Vault that we've got here, with the exception that you get different options for storage capacity. So now let's take a look around the product itself, now that I've babbled on enough about the various differences. Now, very, very smart design. Let's just give you a, a 360 of the X510. Very compact, nice little unit. Let's look at the front of the unit first. Down the bottom here we've got some status lights and I'll be showing you those in my full review later on. We also get a single USB port on the front and what that's really designed for is if you've got some files on a thumb drive or one of these USB sticks you can very easily plug it into the front of the device and gain access to those files. Then we've got some lights here which show various activity uh, elements of the device on your uh, SATA hard drives that you can install inside the unit. This front door swings open like so to reveal the four bays. This bottom bay is already populated with the hard drive dependent on which model you choose to purchase. Now this is a one terabyte version so this has got a one terabyte serial ATA drive in there. And then this bottom section you can actually unlock by turning this uh, screw here and you can gain access to the, the, the main gubbins inside the unit. Now these extra bays here you can populate with any size drive and to open them you just push down on the little red tab, pull the handle app up and slide the bay out. No tools required, you then simply pop your serial ATA drive into here. Yeah? and once it's in this uh, caddy you simply slide it back into the device like so all the way in 
and then you clip this down so that it latches on. It's nice that this clicks up because it means that you don't inadvertently pull out a drive unless you really have pushed the tab down first. Now, the idea behind this is you can populate it with different size drives. Uh, you could put a one terabyte in the bottom as we got here. This could be a two terabyte, 750 gigabyte, doesn't matter what size, you can mix and match drive sizes as you, as you wish to expand the um, storage capacity of this X510 server. Now, let's close that round and take you round to the back of the unit. Now, on the bottom portion of this unit, you can see we've got a little fan outlet here to keep things cool. We've also got an ethernet connection. This is gigabit ethernet to connect it to your network. We've also got an eSATA port and three USB 2 ports on the back. And this means you can expand the storage capacity of the X510 even further. So you can chain, uh, sorry, you can add on three extra USB 2 hard drives and an eSATA hard drive to the unit as well. So you could load this up with uh, three two terabyte drives in the front of the unit here. So that would give you two, four, six terabytes plus the one terabyte gives you seven terabytes. And then you could add another four one terabyte drives uh, into the, the back of the unit, which will give you a total of 11 terabytes of storage capacity. The only other thing on the back is obviously the socket for the power cable. And then we've got the on off switch on the back as well. So expanding the storage capacity is very easy. The uh, software um, included with this device does not turn it into a RAID server. Instead, it uses HP's own user interface and you can set up things like folder duplication, which I think is a lot better than RAID because you can choose specific folders to duplicate rather than have it duplicate a whole drive. It gives you a lot more flexibility in the way you use the device. You can also set up shares and automatic backup as well. Now it's a superb box of tricks. It allows you to stream photos, music, video, it even gives you remote access to your files over the internet. And one thing that I'm gonna be looking at in my full review that's coming up in a couple of weeks is the fact that you even get Mac software included with the device so that you can configure and manage the X510 either on your Windows machine or on the Mac. Well, thanks very much for listening. This has been my first look at the HP Storageworks X510 Data Vault. Come back soon and check out more reviews on geekanoids.co.uk. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.